thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, we are going to apply the principles of drawing Lewis dot structures that were laid out in a previous video. If you've jumped in, I'm going to go pretty quickly, but hopefully you can follow the process. So our first step is to lay them out. The atoms out, we're going to put oxygen in the middle because although it is the most electronegative, hydrogen can never be in the middle. There's two hydrogens. They each bring one valence electrons. There's one oxygen, and oxygen brings six valence electrons. So I have a total of eight valence electrons. So step one, make your bonds. Step two, satisfy your central. Step three, satisfy peripherals. Now, central has eight. Hydrogen only wants two. You have to memorize that. So that is done. Uh, we're going to use A to represent that central oxygen. There are two peripheral atoms, and there are two non-bonded pairs. So it's a generalized structure is A, B, 2, E, 2. And ultimately, you're going to realize that's how you memorize these. Okay. There is no center if we only have one atom, or excuse me, two atoms. Hydrogen has one valence electron. Iodine has seven. Make your bonds. Hydrogen is satisfied with two. We do it in pairs. That's our total of eight valence electrons. Um, this generalized formula is only if you have a central atom. If there's only two atoms, it doesn't, doesn't make sense. You can't, you can't have a center with only two atoms. Okay, you need three to have a center. So we have beryllium with two chlorides on either side. I know you want to attach beryllium as being a um, metal, and it is a metal, but it has a tendency to act very covalently. So we're treating it as a covalent molecule right now. Beryllium has two valence electrons. We have two chlorines. They each bring seven, so we have a total of 16 valence electrons. Make your bonds. Satisfy your central. Beryllium can only have four electrons or two bonds, and you simply have to memorize that. Then it's so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And this would be an A for the beryllium being the central atom, B2, because there's two peripheral atoms. Okay, let's, let's forge ahead into some other ones. We've got Bi3, they're becoming increasingly more complicated. So boron in the center, it's the least electronegative, plus there's only one of the boron element. Okay, so I'm gonna lay them out like this with the iodines on the periphery. Boron has three valence electrons. I have three iodines, they each have seven, so that is 24 valence electrons. Make my bonds, two electrons each. Satisfy the central, it is. Boron only wants six electrons, you have to memorize it. Six electrons, three bonds. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Oops, missed one there. So boron is the center. We'll represent that with the letter A. There are three peripheral atoms, iodine hanging off, and there are no non-bonded pairs. Remember that E is non-bonded pairs only on the central atom. We're going to see it's what surrounds a defined center that is going to dictate the structure around that defined center. Okay, so now we have nitrogen. Nitrogen is less, well, it's about the same electronegativity as chlorine, but there's only one of them. So we're going to put nitrogen in the center. Nitrogen has five valence electrons. We have three chlorines at seven valence electrons. So we have 26 electrons to play with. So we're going to make our bonds takes two electrons to make a bond, I'm going to satisfy our central, that's 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. 
Nitrogen's our center. We have three chlorines hanging off. And this time we have a non-bonded pair on our central atom. So that's an AB3E structure. Okay, our next one has carbon as the center. Uh, hydrogen is a little less electronegative, but hydrogen can never, ever be a center. And I'm just going to spread those atoms out, <clears throat> excuse me, around the carbon. Let's add our valence electrons. <clears throat> carbon has four, and there's only one carbon, sorry, plus. There's two hydrogens, they each bring one for two. There's two fluorines, it brings seven. So we have four plus two plus 14, okay? So we have 20 electrons. So make your bonds, two and four, six, eight. Satisfy your center. Carbon is satisfied. Carbon has eight, so our center is satisfied. We've used eight, 10, 12, not going to put any more on the hydrogen because they're satisfied with two. So 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. So we're done with all of our valence electrons. Everything's satisfied. Good thing. So carbon's our center. We have four peripheral atoms, two hydrogens, two fluorines. There are no non-bonded pairs on the central atom. Okay, so I know this is fast, but you can rewind and look at it again. Okay, so um, that's it actually for this video. The next video is going to cover uh, things that have multiple bonds associated with them. So until then, take care and thanks for joining me.